here we are commemorating 100 years since women won the right to vote in Alberta, a province that has a majority of women in its cabinet, a female premier and deputy premier, a female lieutenant governor, a female chief justice. Consideration indeed. Women have made great change happen and continue to. In 1916, women wanted the right to choose their own representative in the legislature in this very building among political decision makers. This was right and it was fair, but it was not the law. Since the 1870s, Canadian women had been campaigning for better health care, better working conditions for women, and against family violence. After mounting a considerable fight across the province from farms to churches to community halls, right to these legislator steps, Alberta women were successful. Alberta and the prairies were at the vanguard of change as we are in Alberta today. Famous names still rise from that era, but suffrage came because of grit, determination, and the willingness to fight for a cause. Our society owes much to the pioneers of women's rights movement, and part of that obligation is that we continue to mark our own progress. We can mark it here at home, watching our representation in government. We can investigate and respond to the realities of women of all income levels, backgrounds, and circumstances. And we can follow the progress around the world where many women still struggle for the most basic of human rights. When the government, other governments, don't keep up with the people, then the people have the voice. The people are the government. Where I come from and the teaching that I've had passed on to me is that the most humble thing you can be is a leader, because a leader answers to the people. My hope is that Alberta is that kind of place where the leader answers to the people and that that humility comes to this room and every other room to amplify the voices, to open the door to voices who haven't been here before. Today we celebrate that Alberta is up to this messy, contested, and integrity-laden process. Today we're here and we're a testament to the fact that as citizens within this province, we can acknowledge reconciliation with and by Indigenous peoples includes Alberta's commitment to human rights as profound, central, and informing our shared territory and futures. I will stand tall with all the women who, despite threats, harassment, and intimidation, still get out there every day to push the limits, to protect single moms like me, pregnant and new moms like Minister McLean, women diverse in their sexual orientation and their ethnicity, women with a vision of how to make this province better. And we are doing it just like women did 100 years ago, one vote at a time.